What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to be taking on Temple. Now, Temple, this team has not won a game. But ironically enough, last year they didn't win a game until they beat us. And that was the only time that we lost all season long. It was on the road. This time it's going to be in Georgia. And then we're going to be taking on Louisiana Tech, last game of the regular season. So we're going to change things up. Going to make sure that our offense type is spread, make sure that everything is copacetic, our pass to run ratio 54 to 46. And that's going to give us a 10 point victory versus the Temple Owls, the game of the birds. The Eagles are victorious 38 to 28. Our quarterback played pretty well before he got nicked up. He was 6 of 7 with a touchdown. Then he got hurt, and Kevin uh, Smith had to come in and finish the day. Davenport, 13 receptions, 252 and 3 touchdowns. Blake Naismith, only one reception, 15 yards we only have one injury going into our last game hopefully we can all stay healthy because right now we are hurting with our egos and emotions as we lose to louisiana tech 48 to 24 now on paper it was a pretty solid matchup but we were the better team but going on the road is never easy and we come up short we were dominating basically all the way up into that third quarter kind of and then we lost in the fourth quarter, giving up 21 unanswered points. Gibson, Davenpoint, and Stewart all had seven receptions. Blake Naismith, two for 13. So I'm thinking that the spread probably neglects the tight end just a little bit. So Michigan right now is the number one team in the nation. They did not even win the Big Ten. That goes to Iowa. Now, of course, it's old school. You only get so many championship games. Pac-12, the Pac-10, excuse me, doesn't have one. Big Ten doesn't have one in NCAA 06. So things might change as we get to the conference championship Saturday games. Ohio State, they're in the top 15. Cows number 16. Georgia 17. Wake Forest top 20. Florida State also in the top 20. Boise State find themselves in the top 20. Texas A&M is 21, followed by Auburn, Clemson, Oklahoma State, and Tennessee. So in the MAC championship game, Ford Field, Detroit, Michigan, Toledo, they win big, 35-17. LSU, they handle business versus Georgia. They win 38-29. They're the champions of the SEC. Oklahoma, they're able to survive versus Colorado. It was pretty close, but then Colorado couldn't score. And Oklahoma scored 21 points in that fourth quarter. ACC championship game, Maryland, the Terrapins, come up just short versus Miami, probably the best game of the weekend. You had number five taking on number four, and Miami beats number four, Maryland. And then Tulsa beats down USF. So how is that going to shake up the top 25 polls? We're going to see at the end of this video who won what bowl and who went to one bowl. But next, we got to show up with some hardware to our guy, okay? Blake Naismith. Had a slow last two weeks of the season, but still is the best tight end in the nation. Georgia Southern going to be taking on Clemson and the minor key. Minor key. I always trust minor key with minor key. Car care ball. And then you got Corey Childs. I think he might be the first pick in the draft whenever he decides to come out. He wins your Heisman Trophy at LSU. The big fella. Had a big time season. 41 total touchdowns. That's a nice completion percentage as well. And then when it comes to the Maxwell, you had two guys from Texas, but they come up just shy, just short. It's going to go to Allen Young of Iowa. The rest of the hardware looks like this. The Benerica Award goes to Tony Wright of Kansas State. Then LSU, of course, best quarterback. He was the best player in the nation. Why wouldn't he be the best quarterback in the nation? Reggie Bush is your top rusher with the Walker Award. Then you got Johnson is the best receiver award. He looks to be decent. Of course, we already know about Blake Naismith. He already won that. High. He won that trophy by week six. By game six, he won the Mackey Award. It was going to him all day long. But Big Fred from Stanford, he's a big bully out there at offense line, and he's also a smart guy. Remington goes to the best center, and that's the guy from Minnesota. Andre Johnson, the Lombardi Award for the best defensive lineman in the nation. Best linebacker goes to Tony Wright. He won the he won the Benaric, which I believe goes to the best defender. Thorpe, that's the best defensive back. Stanford, you guys got ballers over there. They can be athletic and smart at the same time. And then the returner of the year goes to Butler of Nebraska, the sophomore, and then Toledo. Their head coach is the coach of the year with Dawkins finishing number six. So let's check out our stats for the season. Both quarterbacks, they came in and had a quarterback rating of 200 and like 0.4 and 0.5 respectfully. That's ridiculous. 
Keon Moore doing his thug fizzle, leading the league, leading the team in rushing. And he was tops in the independent conference, if that's even a conference, out of the Temple Owls. And 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 I believe Navy's still in it. I believe it's Navy. I believe he took out Army. I believe it's Navy still in it. And, of course, Notre Dame. And then you see the receivers. Absolutely ridiculous with Davenport and Nate Smith did. Peters led the team in tackles. Long tackles for loss. Dawkins was all over the place. Sacks goes to Tyrone Smith. And then, of course, interceptions. It goes to Bullock, freshman, Dawkins, sophomore, a bunch of freshmen. Like, this team right here could be crazy good in the next couple of seasons. Can we finish off the season with a big bowl win versus Clemson? That is the goal. Clemson, number 22 in the nation, 7-4, 5-3 in ACC play. We are 8-4 overall, 66 overall national ranking. Let's get this one going. We are playing at Bank of America Stadium, home of the Carolina Panthers. So it could be a little bit of a home game for Clemson. I know they're in South Carolina, but you know what I mean. Adams going to go up the gut. Is brought down by Smith. Nice job by the D-line corralling that running back before he can get going. They're going to go to the air. That pass caught by Gross. Gets brought down by Moss. And now it's going to be third down and four. I for Mason team not afraid to run the ball on third down. They do so here. And Adams is loose. Look at him cut through the defense. Nice through that thing, young man. 10-5. Give him six. Touchdown, Clemson and Georgia Southern. We could be in for a fight today. We could be in for a fight today. First and 10. Jonathan K going to roll left. Throws it deep. Walker has a step. Hauls it in. Makes the catch inside the 30-yard line. So just like that, we're up to the 25. K looking down. Field for Walker. He's in the end zone. Not our number one receiver. Not our number two receiver. Not even our third option. We count Blake Naismith as a receiver. But Walker surprising everybody by showing out. Adams looking downfield. That pass will be caught by Graham. And that's going to be a first down in his back pocket. First down and 10. Play fake. They throw it to the left side. That pass caught by Adams. And Adams going to work his way upfield. Cross the 50. Inside Georgia Southern territory. Down to that Georgia Southern 48-yard line. Adams makes a catch right there. Brought down by Kyle Peters. And that's another first down. From the 37. They give it to 37. Out that gut. And Ely, he's there for the stop. So third down and five. McKinley. Throws it. That pass caught by Smith. Brought down by Ely. But the tackle comes just a yard or two shy. Or too late, I should say. But Ely, Ely with another tackle right there. 43 is all over the place. McKinley takes a shot deep to the end zone. Gross over Moss. He mosses Moss. And they have a touchdown. So 14 to 7 is now the score. Cade rolling left. Throws it. Davenport makes the catch. That's going to be a gain of 7. For the 26. Cade looking downfield. Throws it. That pass caught by Taylor and went in enemy territory yet again. Second down to 14. Under some pressure, we roll right into a sack. Third down and 22. We got to get from here to Nebraska. And it's not going to happen on that play as Chancellor is there to bat that thing away. And Clemson takes right back over. Adams up the gut. It takes about the whole squad to bring him down. Second down and one. Adams breaks a tackle but won't get away from Kyle Peters. So third down and two. They run the ball. And they're going to pick up the first down and pick up a little bit more after that. So second down and 10 now. McKinley has it. And that's Ely yet again in your back foot for his fourth tackle. Third down and 13. The ball is tipped. And then pick Moss with the INT. And we got this thing going back the other way. Can we tie this thing up on this drive here? First down and 10. Play fake. Cade looking to the left side. That pass caught by Naismith. Breaking ankles. Breaking hearts. Finally gets dragged down from behind but picks up a first down. Third down and five from the 21. We have Naismith open but we overthrow him. That allows the defensive back to get in there. Puts the hand on the football. Bats that thing away. We got to set up for a field goal. Kick is up. Kick is good and we're down by four. So Adams. He's going to run to the left side. And he's going to pick up a first down just like that. Second down and seven. Direct snap. Breaks the tackle but won't get away from Sharp Dawkins. And now it's going to be third down and ten. McKinley looking. Throwing it. That pass caught by Adams. And he's going to go nowhere fast in our defense. Gets off the field quicker than you can say get off the field. More running people over. Showing off his power. And we pick up another first down. From our own 34-yard line. 
We can throw it to Naismith, but K is going to keep it. And Jonathan K has a first down using his feet. Second down, rolling right, sets our feet. We throw it to Stewart, but he can't make the catch there. Send him third down and 10 from the 45. Looking down through this K9, he's going to tuck it and run it. And he's going to pick up nine yards. Maybe eight yards, so fourth and two, we're gonna go for direct snap. More up that gut. And Keon Moore will pick up a first down, and the drive shall continue. More to the left side. Got out of one tackle. Won't get out of that last tackle. If you were number 20 at Clemson, you must be a dog. What up, Dawkins? Naismith makes the catch right there, and that's gonna be a first down. Move those chains. K, looking for the back of the end zone with Gibson, makes the catch, but couldn't get a foot in bounds. So second down and 10, play fake. K rolls left, throws it. Caught by Zeke Davenport. Touchdown, Georgia Southern. And just like that, GSU has the lead for the first time today. Huge hit by Kyle Peters. The ball came out, but Clemson's there to recover. So on first down to get the ball to Adams, and he's gonna get boxed in, and Ely has this been a vacuum cleaner out there. They run the ball to his side again, and Ely is there for another tackle. So third down, they run the ball, and Ely can't bring him down. Dawkins does, and there's just enough to stop him from getting the first down. K looking for Stewart. He breaks the catcher inside Clemson territory just like that. K under some pressure, throws it. That pass caught by Walker, his third catch of the ball game. And we're still in the first half for our fourth receiver, our fourth option out there. Throwing that thing to Stewart. He makes the catch over inside the 10 just like that. We're going to run the option. We're going to pitch it. Fumble. But Walker is there. Johnny on the spot. Third and goal. K throws it to Naismith. And even the best tight end, even he can drop the football from time to time. So we got to set up for another field goal. Kick is up. Kick is good. We're up 20 to 14 as the second quarter comes to an end. So second half action now. Moss from his own end zone, weaving through traffic, gets up to the 25, passes the 30, and finally, Clemson pushes him out of bounds at the 35-yard line. K takes a shot deep, Zeke hauls it in, and he's gone. A Dawkins dime. 27 to 14 is the score. We're up by 13. Does Clemson have a comeback in him? That pass broken up by Moss, and we force a three and out. From third down to nine, Cade has it. Can the drive continue here? Looking for Naismith. Makes the catch. Naismith to the 30. He gets chased down at the 21 and dragged down at the 20-yard line. Second down and two from the 12. Get the ball to number 13. Out, that got. Touchdown, Georgia Southern. And we're up by a cool 20 points. Adams trying to get loose. Gets away, hurdles the defender, and gets all the way up to the 49-yard line. First and 10, McKinley avoids the rush. Throws it, caught by Williams, brought down by Dawkins. They can go up the gut, no play fake. McKinley throws it to the running back who's open. Adams has the football, gets up field, and they're inside Georgia Southern's 30-yard line. They throw it over the middle, caught by Graham. Graham, he gets thrown down. It has a first down. Now it's third down and eight. Direct snap. Adams trying to get loose. He does. And he gets brought down by Moss. Just shy of the goal line. First and goal from the one touchdown. Adams. And this game is not over just yet. Moss brought down as he crosses the 20 yard line down to the 24. K looking downfield. Looking for Naismith. Makes the catch again. Diving effort. And we're inside Clemson territory. One flick of the wrist. K to the left side. Sprinter speed, but gets caught by the shoelace and has a first down. Second down and one, we go to play fake, trying to catch this team napping, but they send a blitz, and that's going to bring that drive to an end. So third down to 13. K looking downfield for Nate Smith, brings it in. Nate Smith inside the 10, has a first down and goal at the five-yard line. So third and goal to Zeke Davenport in the back of the end zone. Touchdown pass number four for Jonathan K. That man is an absolute monster. And that pass intercepted by Michael Peters, who's the senior. They, they were twins, but somehow they're two years apart. So they're, so they're just brothers, Kyle and Michael Peters. This is Michael's last game, but Kyle might have a couple more seasons left. Anyways, Campbell to the left side. Campbell gets absolutely lit up like the sky on 4th of July. K rolls left. K, he's going to get tattooed and... That is going to do it for the drive. We kick a field goal, and we are now up 44 to 21. So a 
point lead. 23 point lead, I can't do math. Evans to the left side. That's gonna result in a first down from the 47. Quick pass, caught by Moore. He makes the catch out of the backfield. Moss, who got blocked pretty hard along that side, and he's shaking up. McKinley throws this one deep. That pass, broken up. And now it's gonna be fourth and one. Moore, up the gut, the big fullback. He gets loose, and Michael Peters is hurt because he got blocked pretty hard. Clemson Tigers, they know how to block downfield. That pass, over the head of Dawkins into the hands of Gross, and that's going to be a first down. They throw it to the back of the end zone, caught by Gross, touchdown Clemson, they're going to go for two. So 44-27, trying to get 44-29. Play fake, Ely off of the edge, gets to the quarterback with mean intentions. Onside kick, Gibson is there for the recovery. Can they stop us from scoring points is the question. We're going to take some time off the clock to run the ball here. Moore breaks the tackle. Then he breaks some ankles. Gets a block from Nate Smith. He's inside the 25, which means we're in field goal range. We get the ball to Campbell. He falls forward. Nice game there, but it is fourth down. We're going to kick the field goal. Clemson want to do nothing on offense, and that is it. Georgia Southern, you have won your first bowl game. Congratulations. And it was versus the Clemson Tigers. That's not easy to do. Jonathan Cade, he could go pro. He's three years removed from his last high school game as a red shirt sophomore, so he could go. Blake Naismith, he could go. A lot of these guys could decide to leave us, but I think they feel like me, that we have some unfinished business. Ely, just a freshman. Ten tackles, three for loss, plus one sack. They did not count the one on, um, on the two-point conversion as a sack register, which I just don't understand. Anyways, there goes the trophy, beautiful trophy. Put that in the trophy case. We want shinier trophies moving forward. Outback Bowl, you had Florida versus Ohio State. Ohio State, they get the victory. Tennessee, they beat Colorado just by two points. Colorado put up a great fight, but they end up falling to the Volunteers. West Virginia, they fall to Maryland. Georgia, they fall to Michigan State. The Rose Bowl is a rematch of last year's Rose Bowl. USC taking on Texas, and USC beats Texas this time around. And they were the Pac-10 champions. Maybe they should have been in the national championship game. You see, they finished number two in the nation for the final poll. When it came to the Nokia Sugar Bowl, you had Louisville with the surprise win over LSU. Miami, they get by Oklahoma, which might have been the best bowl game of the bowl season as they beat Oklahoma just by three. But, of course, the national championship game did live up to the hype. 34, Iowa, Michigan just 31. But, again, maybe, just maybe, the Pac-10 champs and USC should have made it to that bowl game and not Michigan. But, hey, that's just me. Our budget for next season going to look a little something like this. Recruiting is going to get depleted just a little bit. Going to go down to 32, training up to 37. Because, again, we're going to have some guys come back. Discipline will stay at 31. These are the guys who are leaving. 48 overall, Matt Smart. I do not believe he got any playing time. Clifford, who did get some playing time, he was our starting outside backer for last year and this season. But Ely was split, splitting time with him for the most part. They are both leaving. Uh, Lawrence is leaving as well. Then you got Jones brothers. They're leaving. Brown is leaving. But as you can see, Buchanan, who had a couple of picks this season, he's leaving. Justin Taylor, who was our second string receiver last year, got moved all the way to fifth string. He had a catch in the ball game, but he's leaving as well. Not leaving, but they're graduating, I should say. Nobody is leaving to go to a different school. Nobody is leaving to go pro. Michael Peters, he might have a chance to go pro, but he is going to call it a career as a senior safety. We do have one guy transferring in, Corey Walker, number 29. I believe that's Glenn Coffey. Spent some time with the San Francisco 49ers. And I believe he retired early to go join the military. That's what I remember. And these are his numbers. 78 overall, 86 speed, 59 strength, 85 agility, 88 acceleration, 82 carry. Not bad. We'll get into the rest of the offseason in our next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. I do hope that the rest of the day is the best of your day. And until we meet again, my friends, peace, love, high sauce.